Self-tape auditions are better than in-person auditions and I'm gonna prove it to you in this video. Maybe you've had arguments with people before going back and forth about people saying, it was so much better when we got to have in-person auditions, self-tape auditions are terrible, they're horrible for the actors. They're different and there's some benefits that we didn't have before that now we do. So pre-pandemic, most auditions were in-person. 90% of them, maybe 10% we had were doing self-tape auditions. Now after the pandemic, everything has changed. Now it's 99, 98% is gonna be self-tape auditions, and maybe one or 2% are gonna be in-person auditions. Now, a benefit of an in-person audition was you knew 100% that the cast and director was able to see you. You know that right off the bat because you're in the room and you're with them. But with that being said, that's really the only benefit. One thing that people will say is that you got to have a little bit more of a human connection being in the room with the cast and director. Now, partially, yes, that's true, but you also have to remember that cast and director has to see maybe 50 actors in that day, and maybe they're casting three, four, five different parts. So they don't really get to interact with you for that long. Imagine you're gonna go on a date. If you go on a date with somebody and you only get to interact with them for two minutes, how much of a real human connection do you actually get to make? Not really that much. Yeah, you kinda get in maybe a feel for them or a little bit of an idea, but you don't really know who they are because you don't really get to have a true interaction with them. With self-tapes, you're gonna be submitting it and they're gonna be seeing your video. Do they really get a true self-take of who you are as a person? No, but they don't also truly get it in person. So that really doesn't apply to the in-person auditions as much. You don't really have to weigh it so heavily as you would for being in-person compared to self-tapes. Now, for self-tapes, there's a lot of benefits. One of the things is, is that you do not have to go and drive to your auditions every single day. The other thing is, is you don't have to go and pay for gas because you have to pay for gas to go there and you also have to wait in traffic. It saves you time and it saves you money. The other thing is you get to record your take as much as you want. You can record 10 takes and decide which one you like. When you're in person and you're auditioning for the cast director, you get one chance, one chance to fail, one chance to pass. How many times before have you been talking to someone and you wish you could have said something else, but you just didn't and you thought about it afterwards? That's what happens when you do auditions sometimes in person. You go back and you think, man, I wish I would have done A, I wish I would have done B, C. You think back to what you could have done or would have done. Whereas when you're doing your self tapes from home, you get to go and look at your take. You can look at it and go, oh, I kind of messed up there. Let me go and redo that again. You get to show your best take possible to the casting directors. You also get to work at your own time. Maybe your audition would be set in the morning or in the afternoon, but you don't have time to do that. You can go and do it in the evening because you have more flexibility for yourself. The other thing is you're not dependent on locations. I know somebody who is in Detroit, Michigan right now. They're able to go and submit for auditions in Detroit. Before you had to be in LA or you had to be in New York. Now you're not dependent on locations. So you have so much more flexibility, giving more opportunities for you as individuals to go on audition for parts. The other thing is you have to think about how much time and commitment had to be going into those in-person auditions. We talked about in a video, I think it was a week or two ago, about how less than 1% of actors in union make 50K a year. And you have to make some money to live in the United States. 50K is not a lot to go and have a household for yourself, to have a family for yourself, especially in LA or in New York. It's really hard to do, and less than 1% of actors do it in the union. So that's less than 1,600 actors making 50K a year. And that's union actors. There's so many more non-union actors who are not making anything at all. So already it's really hard to make it as an actor. So if it's so hard to make it as an actor, and if less than 1% of actors can make 50K a year, well then all that in-person audition, all that time you're putting in on traffic, all that time that you're spending and money to go to those auditions, now you get to save for yourself so you get to have some power back for you. Think about it like this. If you were to do music and you had to go and perform for people, would you wanna go every single day or every week, go to a new person that you've never met before, go and play them a song, and then you play it for them for maybe 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, and they say, okay, thank you, bye. You spent all this time in traffic, you spent all this money on gas, and then most likely, you're not gonna hear anything back. So if you already know that that's the case, most likely you're not gonna hear anything back. Would you rather go and just record yourself at home, send it to them, see if they like you, compared to just going in for that audition every single week? Most people would say, okay, yeah, let me go and record myself, record me doing the song, let them see if they like it. If they do, great, we'll talk more. If not, 
perfect, I'll keep moving on. So there's so many more benefits that you actually have when you get to do self-tape auditions. So that's my argument when it comes to the self-tapes. There's more opportunities available, you get your time back, you save more money, and it's just a lot more relaxing for yourself. And you get to let the cast director see your best take every single time because you don't get one chance how you did in the room. Now you get to go and record yourself as many times as you want to show them the perfect side of the character that you're trying to put forth. So I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you stay up to date with everything. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped you guys. Also our 10 hour acting masterclass, our 2.0 version, it's gonna be down in the description down below and also in the comment section if you're interested in that. All right, thanks, bye-bye.